Welcome to an episode of The Root Cultures. In this series, we'll be talking about general carnivorous plant mix. So we'll be using this plant, Nepenthes gracilis squat, as an example for the reporting later. But let's move in into the different media. And so we have three types, sphagnum moss on the bottom left, peat moss in the middle, and perlite on the right hand side. It is always better to use a combination of all three. So first we look at perlite, which is a light airy material and it's also great for using in carnivorous plant mix because it provides a good drainage. Later in the video you'll notice that we are wearing a mask, so it's always important to wear a mask when using perlite. And also it's best to work with a moist or wet perlite to prevent the dust particles from floating everywhere. Next we move on to peat moss, which is the water retaining portion for the carnivorous plant mix. And this both goes hand in hand together to create a conducive environment for the carnivorous plant to grow in. And we've tried a different media like coco peat, but we always find that peat moss for carnivorous plants still works best because in general where they are found, they have high acidity conditions and low nutrients to no nutrients at all. That's what peat moss provides. Here we have another media and these are lava rocks or lava stone. This helps to provide good drainage, quite similar to that of perlite and you can even use it as a substitute to perlite. And one of the good things about using lava stone is that it is heavier than perlite and also longer lasting. And so now here we are mixing perlite and peat moss and you want the ratio to be 1 is to 1, 1 perlite to 1 peat moss. We're using a big bag here which helps us to save quite a bit of time when we do reporting but with such a big bag you have to ensure that the media is evenly mixed so that there won't be more perlite to peat or more peat to perlite and so this is how it should look like up next we will be reporting so we're done with the media mix and basically the bottom will be filled with sphagnum followed by our half peat half perlite mix what you're looking for is to fill it up just above the brim and the rationale for doing this is because later when you water it with water the media would sink slightly to the bottom and you have to top it up with more media again as you saw we were gently tapping the media what you do not want to do is to compact the media by pressing it down you want the media to be loose at the same time to allow good growth for the pitcher plant roots and once done you remove the plant from the pot You can see the roots are pretty healthy here. And so this is just a cutting of a Nepenthes gracilis squat. Make an indent in the media and slot the plant in. And then gently covering it. Once you have covered it, you would then top dress it with sphagnum moss. So the rationale for putting both sphagnum moss at the bottom and the top for the bottom, it helps prevent the media from seeping out or for the top, it prevents the media from drying out. Ultimately, this creates a microenvironment for the roots to thrive in and to grow better. And then reporting can be done every year or depending on the media itself. So if the media looks a bit too compact and it's time to change the media. For example, if the perlite has disintegrated. So it is very important to ensure that the media is fully wet so how do we do this is by first soaking the plant in water and ensure that there are no dry spaces in between because sometimes when you water the media and although the water drains fully from the bottom what you notice is that there are actually pockets of dry media and it's always best to do a full soak first for example 10 to 15 minutes should be a good range and this is to help prevent any damages to the roots as reporting the pitcher plant often cause stress to the roots you don't want to cause additional stress by something that could be easily prevented. Let us know in the comment section below what is your preferred media mix. So we hope you have enjoyed an episode of The Root Culturist. Give us a like below, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at The Root Culturist. Thank you.